as Samuel did approaching agony. Which thou so eagerly didst question of. It is the face of the incarnate God shall smite thee with the keen and subtle pain, and yet the memory which it leaves in thee. A serene beverage to heal the world. A serene, and yet with all it will the wound provoke, and aggravate and widen it the more. Tell me things I know, to get engaged with the Lord that word. And rather would I hear thy angry voice than for myself be thy servant. When then, as such thy lot, thou seest thy judge, the sight of him will kindle in my heart all tender, gracious, reverential thoughts. Thou wilt be sick with love and yearn for him, and feel as though thou couldst but pity him, that one so sweet should err thy place by himself, and at disadvantage such as to be used so vilely by being so vile as thee. There's a bleeding in his pleasant eyes will pierce thee to the quick, and trouble thee, and thou wilt hate and loathe thyself. For though thou sinless, thou wilt feel that thou hast sinned, as no doubt thou spirit, and wilt desire to sink thee, and hide thee from his sight, and yet will have a long awe to dwell within the beauty of his countenance. And these two pains, so counter and so keen, the longing for him. When thou seest him not, the shame of self and thought of seeing him will be thy very sharpest purgatory. My soul is in my hand, I have no fear. In his dear life, prepared for weal or woe. The heart, a grand, mysterious harmony, it floods me like a deep and solemn town of many waters. We have gained the stairs, which rise towards the present chamber. Be a bed of mighty angels keep the way on the other side. And him the incarnate God. Father, whose goodness none can know, but they who see thee face to face. By man hath come thy infinite display of thine all loving grace. But fallen dead man, the creature of the day, skilled not their love to trace. It needs to tell the trial thou hast wrought, an angel's deathless fire, an angel's reach of thought. It needs that very angel who withal, amid the garden shade, his great creator in his sickness. Saw, soothed by a creature's aid, and agonized as victim of the law, which he himself had made. For who can praise him in his death and height, but he who saw him reeled in that victorious fight? Hark, the lintels of the present gate are echoing and vibrating with back their strain.